all right guys this is it you're gonna want to like and subscribe to this video uh you're gonna want to stick around to the end for this stuff all to all my subscribers definitely you want to stick around to the end i've got some uh man this is the best stuff you're gonna get you can't get this anywhere okay um stay tuned watch the video so you can see how uh you can use a used pcm with chevy gm vehicles and be able to change the VIN number, not needing the original PCM. Also, here's gonna be a, um, at the end of the video for the GDS, SPS, um, all different things, tools, OEM tools for only subscribers. Those guys that sacrificed uh, by pressing that subscribe button and broke their fingers by pressing that like button. You know, that Band-Aid you got on your finger for pressing that button is gonna pay off at the end of this video. Stay tuned. All right, guys, this is an update for programming used modules on the uh, Chevy GM SPS Techline Connect. Um, I had an issue. I'm on a Chevy, a 2008 uh, 3500. This is the big 6.6 .6 engine, and it had a bad PCM, my diagnostic. So I um, got a replacement used PCM, and I could not use my method that I have posted because the original PCM is completely dead and I cannot communicate with it to get a VIN number. So the used PCM, it would not allow me in any way to connect and um, change the VIN number. If you see my previous videos on this, it will crash every time. So I contacted um, Techline Connect they told me no it should work blah 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 so i was i left for the day i came back um this morning and i called them back and i got a lady very helpful i explained to her what was going on she uh basically initially said it might have to do that i'm using a altel programmer and incompatibility between tech like tech line connect and the altel which i don't believe because i use this exact same feature before they did the updates on TechLine Connect, so I know it can work, and it was working. Um, she then told me there's a workaround where they can uh, activate TIS to web for 24 hours to, to my account, and that way I'll be able to do what I'm doing right now. So um, I basically had to log out of my account as, and um, AC Delco, log back in, and then right above, I don't know if it's still up, where I can show you, let me see. Yeah, here it is. So where it says my subscriptions, you see I've got one slot available, and um, right there, it I have now service programming package, right? And it ends as 24 hours lease, basically. And right there, you just go to access, and it will open TIS to web. But they said this is going away and it's not something you're going to be able to do forever, supposedly, right? So now I was able to connect to the vehicle. And um, as you can see, it just ended the programming. Um, I heard the key cycle. Um, I was able to connect to the vehicle. It read with the new engine computer. It read the VIN number, which was the incorrect VIN number for this vehicle. And of course, in here, you can then erase it and put in the correct VIN number, which I did. And it then started the programming process. And as you can see, it just finished programming. Um, normally you would have to do the theft relearn, but I'm gonna just do clear DC, DTCs and see what's gonna happen if this will actually work without it because I notice the theft light is not there right now. So let's see, it's still clearing DTCs. Once that stops, I will, um, yeah, well, let's try to crank it and see what happens. I'm going to do a key off, key on, see if the theft light goes out. Okay, the theft light is not going out, so I'm going to go ahead and proceed with the same VIN. Yep, see, now the VIN that I filled in. It is correct. That is the current VIN for this vehicle that I modified. 
Okay, now I'm going to go to all right, vehicle theft deterrent learn normal ECM replaced, which is what we we did. Focus lock that. One second. All right, I got the ECM in. Do next. Turn ignition off. Um, this on new controller, and it's on. We already did that. Communicating. There it is. All right, I'm gonna tell it next. Oh, by the way, um, the the lady at the end, when I got this going, yeah, I'm, I'm all good here. Make sure this is off, I think, yeah, it is, it's off. Um, okay, she did confirm to me that it is by design that they've been blocking um, you from using TechLine Connect to um, change the VIN or process a VIN. You heard the key cycle. It's going, it's doing the programming. Um, this usually takes about 10 or 12 minutes. And she did confirm that it's by design that I'm not crazy. And uh, that is the reason why it closes on the, uh, yeah, there it is, 10 minutes. On the uh, used um, PCMs when you try it. So this is the workaround they're doing. So in case you are in a bind where your PCM is completely dead or you don't have one, you can call in to TechLine Connect and they can open you up the original SPS like this where you can then TIS to web and you can then program it just like I'm doing here. So this is still a possibility. It's just basically blocked by them to keep you from doing it, but it can still be done. All right, guys, it just finished. I did a clear DTCs and now the moment of truth. All right, security light should go off. There it is. All right, success. So just so you know, um, this is an alternative uh, for programming used PCMs um, and I've got a 24 hour lease. Um, I've also got a standalone version of the same SPS. It did not, I was going to make a video on this, but I didn't have this big uh, 3500 in there. So it actually wouldn't work, but I will do more videos on other vehicles where you don't need TechLine Connect at all and you can reprogram. Claro que si, ya esta. Mira, escucha. Que mas quieren escuchar, eh? All right, guys, this is content only for subscribers. If you're subscribed to this channel, you're going to want to go to the description box, get my email address, and hit me up if this is any interest to you. What I've got here for you is the original OEM software used by the dealers uh, for all Chevy, GM, Cadillac, Buick, you name it, anything GM related. Uh, so we've got here Tech 2 Win version, right? Um, so this is the GM Tech 2. So let me open that up so you can see it. Actually, I've got GDS open. Um, on your newer vehicles, you're going to want to use GDS um, and GDS 2 rather. Yeah, GDS 2 is what you're going to use on your newer vehicles pretty much from 2012 and up, right? You're going to get full OEM dealer diagnostics service um, uh, module programming to a certain extent and all of that through GDS2 and Tech2 is the original um, GM diagnostics troubleshooting and all of that for the vehicles let's say from uh, 1991 up to like uh, uh, 2012 somewhere around there um, let me show you we also got TIS 2000 which is SPS1 um, where you can now you can program uh, PCMs, any module, um, pretty much to 2008. 
So any vehicle up to 2008, you don't need to go through TechLine Connect, none of that stuff. You can do it directly. And the full database is here with the calibrations, everything. So you can just bring this uh, image. This is actually a VMware image, right? So uh, once you have it on your PC or whatnot, you can load it anytime and you have access to all of this. All right, I'm gonna show you GDS2 which I'm connected right now to my car. Um, as you can see, GDS2, that's the version, my FID number, my vehicle, um, shows you my interface. By the way, you are gonna need this uh, interface. It's a J2534 compatible interface, lets you do programming, everything. I've done every function on GM, related to GM with this, and it's dirt cheap. Uh, we're talking about 100 bucks. Um, that's the voltage, of course, of the interface reporting from my alternator. Um, so I just did a vehicle, just opened it up, did a vehicle data capture, so you can see the level of detail you get on the OEM tool. Um, so let me open that, go up to the front. It goes through and scans all the modules. So um, details on the vehicle, right? This is, uh, this stuff, this level of detail, you can only get pretty much from OEM tools. Uh, other tools such as the Alltail, you get a lot of information, but not to this level. Um, let's see here. It's going to now come up to also um, errors and whatnot that I have, right? Yeah, so here's a DTC, um, calibration levels. Uh, you know, you get a lot of detail, right? Helps you troubleshoot. Um, like I got the uh, little tire pressure light there. So that's what this is. Uh, never got a chance to get around to it, taking care of that. You know how it is, like the mechanics, uh, rather the carpenter's house. Yeah, this sensor, I've got it. I need to replace it. It's been in the little slot here forever. Haven't got around to it. So yeah, so basically this is complete OEM level. Well, it is OEM. Um, diagnostics and troubleshooting for all um, of the late model GM vehicles, right? So I'm gonna go back here to the home just so you can see what it looks like when you load it up. Yep, so it starts up like that. You pretty much hit diagnostics and um, you would hit read VIN here on this screen. It just connected to my interface. It actually sees it. Oh, yeah, here we go. And enter. It already has the VIN populated down there. Loading up. And this is all on a VMware image, so uh, nothing to install. You just copy this image to your PC and you launch it. And that's it. And you've got this whole VMware image completely loaded. No configuration whatsoever. So you don't have to worry about, oh, this is incompatible, that's incompatible, no. You just open the image, just like I've got it here, running in Windows, and that's it, you're ready to go. I can open DTCs here for the ECM, and I don't have any. So that's just showing you um, GDS. So I'm gonna exit out of here and show you the other ones. All right, let's open Tech2. All right, uh, let's pick North America. All right, we're gonna pick just MDI. And as you can see down there, that's my interface actually connected. And once you see that little blue light kind of flashing fast, that's when it's actually communicating. And it's recognized it, I hit okay. Just load it up. There it is. So you control this Tech 2 with the little control pad here. This emulates the actual hardware device, the Tech 2 hardware device. So you can go to diagnostics. And yeah, so it's pretty much up to 2013 from 91 vehicles all the way to 2013 with the Tech 2. It also has programming features for those vehicles as well. But yeah, it does not. Yeah, this version doesn't. This doesn't work with this one. So you got to use um, T2 
TIS 2000 for doing the SPS stuff, right? But with the Tech 2, you get OEM level diagnostics for all these vehicles from these these years, basically, right? Yeah, for example, let's go into 95 passenger vehicle. You can look at the powertrain. You pick the, uh, you know, the engine platform, right? And you can look at DTCs, uh, special functions, you know. This is all the OE, this is the OEM level tool. All right, so I'm going to exit out of here. Just hit the power button, closes it out. Now I'm going to open TIS 2000, and this is where you can do programming on all, pretty much all vehicles up to 2008, right? So you would never need to um, you would select generic pass-through to have any kind of subscriptions or anything like that. So if you're replacing an ECM, you would go here. Um, this is not going to work with my vehicle, of course, because I'm past 2008. Okay, I actually went back and I'm going to select reprogram just so I can kind of show you what the menus look like. I'm not going to be able to select this, of course, because um, I don't have a 2008 vehicle. All right, um, passenger car, just so you can see what the, you know, what the menus look like when you are actually going to program. I just selected 2008, which is the latest on the uh, SPS here. So this is only up to 2008 for programming, right? Once you need more than 2008, um, you would have to use something like Techline Connect or the TIS2 Web, the online version, right? It detected my VIN, which of course isn't gonna fail because that VIN is not gonna parse to something that's in the database, right? So, but this is a complete local database with all the, the calibration files for up to 2008 vehicles. Not all, for example, uh, in this video, as you saw, the HC 3500 was not in there, but let's say passenger cars, normal vehicles, they will be in the database and you can load, redo PCMs, whatever, any kind of device on there, right? So it failed here on this one, of course, because my VIN is not registering to vehicle in the database. So let me get out of here. Um, my car is kind of going crazy. It's trying to read it and it's not compatible. So let me get out of here. But guys, if this is something that you're interested in, um, your subscriber, uh, hit me and send me an email in the description box. And I mean, if this channel is helpful, helpful to you, I'm um, just asking for a donation of $25 to the channel to help this channel keep growing and giving you good content and tools to help you do your job better and be more productive. And um, I will make this available to you. Um, like I said, with this image, uh, you don't need any installations, nothing. You run the image, but you will need the interface, which is about a hundred bucks. You can buy it anywhere. I can give you a, provide you a link also to purchase that. And that's it. You know, you have all these tools and we'll be able to do dealer level diagnostics without an issue. Again, only to subscribers, man, only to subscribers. Yeah, so you could actually see the interface so you can see what it is. It's the uh, VX Diag VCX Nano GDS2. Some of you might even already have it. So with just the image I sent you, you'll be in business. By the way, this interface, with just this interface, you can actually use uh, TechLine Connect, the full um, GDS uh, to the, the current version with no issues whatsoever. I've programmed all kind of vehicles, reprogrammed ECMs, PCMs, transmission, everything with this, as well as my J25. This basically is a J2534 for all GM type vehicles. And I've never had an issue. So no matter what anyone tells you, I've done it many times. I don't know how many units I've reprogrammed with this unit. And this is only 100 bucks. So I would highly recommend it if um, you do work on GM vehicles. Stay tuned, guys, for the next one. And also, classes are coming next month, guys, for the Altel IM608, giving you big details on how to be productive with that unit um, and do high-level programming, 
uh, decoding, all kind of things. It's going to be a time. I'm going to have basically details on the class coming up. Stay tuned to the channel.